by unlocking this trunk. Hold the lock pick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism like a rope. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock pick until you feel the right point where the tumbler is. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler on the pick. Otherwise, it'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over. You forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. With real locks, you have to watch out for the Try it a few more times if you like. Thank you. Good luck. Can you tell me... What's the local lord like? Sir Hanush? He treats his people well, but he's tough as an old oak. The way things are these days, I wouldn't wonder if he and his men started kicking some asses. What's Sir Han's cape on like? Ah, that worthless dandy. Sir Hanush has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. Do you know Sir Bernard, the rat eye captain? He's a grumpy bastard, but fair, I'd say. What about the Scalets folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work, they just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters, but this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. That's all. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Wojtek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. The 
before I do, I've plenty of work to do. And I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Would you teach me something about the, uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Hey! I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. What? Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again.
I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking. First, you have to rummage. Once you've found something you want, you've got to try stealing my dagger. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. I'll stand here. First, you have. Once you've found. Try stealing my. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now.
I'll be sure to get back tomorrow. Don't you think? Jesus Christ be praised. Can I ask... What kind of a lord is Sir Hamish? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hamish opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move back into my chambers. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen, and barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Now let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Yeah. Well done. Good. 
That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Well done. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. See what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. <sighs> See, I lure you, uh. and Good strike. Enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. <laughs> Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The boot knocks the blade aside. Ow. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Duh. No, that's not it. Soon again. <laughs> Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. <clears throat> Not like that.
Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Henry. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Wrong! Again! Ugh. No! Not like that! to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Good. Good. Nice. And the 
last thing for today. A trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment. The opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. No. All right. All right, that's it. No, that's not it. Too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movement, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target, flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Practice for a while, no nonsense.
Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivanov. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Congratulations, Sir Hunt. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, Blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hunt, is this necessary? Sir Hunt has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, Blacksmith? If we must... Excellent, then let's go. Quitting? No! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> ah. Defeat, blacksmith. You still have a lot to learn. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. And since we made an honest bet, you can give me my money now. Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, 
You might not take it so well. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Better put that weapon away, or you'll be asking for trouble. Good health to you. Let's have a word about the price. Aye. What do you say to this? That's not enough. I'm finished. This is going nowhere. Let's talk about... Sure. Are we agreed? Well, now. I'll go for that.
Let's have a word about the price. Aye. What about this? You're a right pinch. That's a sum I can live with. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try. I could do with something to eat. Are we agreed? That's not enough. Very well, I agree. My pleasure. Good health to you. I'd like something to eat. Here, you God be with you.
you rogue. Not to me. I can't. I'm reduced to this. I'm from Skelitz and, well, you know. <laughs> 